I figured today we'd look at high-risk lesions on breast biopsies, and I think this can be, this is probably the most challenging area of breast pathology, honestly. And then on top of it, you've got radiologists and surgeons who aren't quite sure what they need to do with what you diagnose, so you end up in the, the position of needing to tell them. So I want to go over all that material so you feel confident in that. All right, so we're going to look at what the most common high-risk lesions are that we see on core needle biopsy. We're going to evaluate the various upgrade rates that are associated with them, and we'll talk about what specifically that means. We'll understand that really controversy still exists on several of these lesions, so you know sometimes it's still um, unclear what to do. And then really um, develop an informed approach so when your clinicians do call or if, if, like our group, we tend to put in the comment what we think should be done with what we just diagnosed, that you'll know exactly what to tell your colleagues. Okay, so what are the high-risk lesions? There's a, a finite definition of them in breast. So we have our columnar cell lesions and flat epithelial atypia, then ADH, which we'll talk about, LCIS and ALH, and then our radial scars, complex sclerosing lesions, and finally our papillomas, which we won't spend a ton of time since we talked about them yesterday. All right, so why are these the risk lesions? Well, all of them carry a slightly elevated risk of breast cancer if you compare them to the normal general population. So FEA carries a very minimal, slight increase in risk, as do some of the, um, few of the columnar cell lesions, which we'll talk about. And then you can see papillary lesions, radial scar, slightly more increased, and then we get to ADH and ALH and LCIS, which do carry relatively significant increase in risk for development of further higher grade lesions. So I think the most important thing when you're looking at all of the literature talking about high risk lesions is to actually understand what do they mean by an upgrade, okay? So the upgrade is defined at the rate at which you see a high risk lesion on core and then you get a quote, worse diagnosis on the surgical excision. And the worst diagnosis is specifically defined as any form of DCIS, invasive ductal carcinoma or invasive lobular carcinoma. So importantly, going from ALH up to LCIS does not constitute an upgrade. It's only DCIS and then our invasive carcinomas.